The Pentium II brand refers to Intel's sixth-generation microarchitecture, P6, and x86 compatible microprocessors introduced on May 7, 1997. Containing 7.5 million transistors, 27.4 million in the case of the mobile Dixon with 256 kilobytes L2 cache, the Pentium II featured an improved version of the first P6 generation core of the Pentium Pro, which contained 5.5 million transistors. However, its L2 cache subsystem was a downgrade when compared to the Pentium Pros. In early 1999, the Pentium II was superseded by the almost identical Pentium III, which basically only added SSE instructions to the CPU. In 1998, Intel stratified the Pentium II family by releasing the Pentium E-based Celeron line of processors for low-end workstations and the Pentium II Xeon line for servers and high-end workstations. The Celeron was characterized by a reduced or omitted in some cases present but disabled on die full speed L2 cache and a 66 MT SFSB. The Xeon was characterized by a range of full speed L2 cache from 512 kilobytes to 2048 kilobytes, a 100 MT SFSB, a different physical interface slot 2 and support for symmetric multiprocessing. Topic Overview The Pentium II microprocessor was largely based upon the microarchitecture of its predecessor, the Pentium Pro, but with some significant improvements. Unlike previous Pentium and Pentium Pro processors, the Pentium II CPU was packaged in a slot based module rather than a CPU socket. The processor and associated components were carried on a daughter board similar to a typical expansion board within a plastic cartridge. A fixed or removable heatsink was carried on one side, sometimes using its own fan. This larger package was a compromise allowing Intel to separate the secondary cache from the processor while still keeping it on a closely coupled back side bus. The L2 cache ran at half the processor's clock frequency, unlike the Pentium Pro, whose off-die L2 cache ran at the same frequency as the processor. However, its associativity was increased to 16-way compared to 4-way on the Pentium Pro and its size was always 512 kilobytes, twice of the smallest option of 256 kilobytes on the Pentium Pro. Off-package cache solved the Pentium Pro's low-yield issues, allowing Intel to introduce the Pentium II at a mainstream price level. Intel improved 16-bit code execution performance on the Pentium II, an area in which the Pentium Pro was at a notable handicap by adding segment register caches. Most consumer software of the day was still using at least some 16-bit code because of a variety of factors. The issues with partial registers was also addressed by adding an internal flag to skip pipeline flushes whenever possible. To compensate for the slower L2 cache, the Pentium II featured 32 KB of L1 cache, double that of the Pentium Pro, as well as four write buffers versus two on the Pentium Pro. These can also be used by either pipeline, instead of each one being fixed to one pipeline. The Pentium II was also the first P6 based CPU to implement the Intel MMX integer SIMD instruction set, which had already been introduced on the Pentium MMX. The Pentium II was basically a more consumer oriented version of the Pentium Pro. It was cheaper to manufacture because of the separate, slower L2 cache memory. The improved 16-bit performance and MMX support made it a better choice for consumer-level operating systems, such as Windows 9X, and multimedia applications. The slower and cheaper L2 cache's performance penalty was mitigated by the doubled L1 cache and architectural improvements for legacy code. 
General processor performance was increased while costs were cut. All Claymouth and some early Deschutes Pentium IIs use a combined L2 cache controller tag RAM chip that only allows for 512 megabytes to be cached. While more RAM could be installed in theory, this would result in very slow performance. While this limit was practically irrelevant for the average home user at the time, it was a concern for some workstation or server users. Presumably, Intel put this limitation deliberately in place to distinguish the Pentium II from the more upmarket Pentium Pro line, which has a full 4 GB cacheable area. The 82459 AD revision of the chip on some 333 MHz and all 350 MHz and faster Pentium IIs lifted this restriction and also offered a full 4 GB cacheable area. Topic Variants Topic Claymouth The original Claymouth Pentium II microprocessor Intel product code 80522 ran at 233, 266, and 300 MHz and were produced in a 0.35 micrometers process. The 300 MHz version, however, only became available in quantities later in 1997. These CPUs had a 66 MHz front side bus and were initially used on motherboards equipped with the aging Intel 440FX Natoma chipset designed for the Pentium Pro. Pentium E-based systems using the Intel 440LX Balboa chipset widely popularized SDRAM which was to replace Edo RAM and was already introduced with 430VX, and the AGP graphics bus. On July 14, 1997, Intel announced a version of the Pentium II Klamath with 2x72-bit ECC L2 cache for entry-level servers, as opposed to the 2x64-bit non-ECC L2 cache on regular models. The extra bits give it error correction capability built into hardware, without impacting performance. The variant can be determined through the CPU part number. In Intel's family, model, stepping scheme, Klamath CPUs are family 6, model 3. Topic: Deschutes. The Deschutes Core Pentium II, 80,523, which debuted at 333 MHz in January 1998, was produced with a 0.25 micrometers process and has a significantly lower power draw. The die size is 113 square millimeters. The 333 MHz variant was the final Pentium CPU that used the older 66 MHz front side bus. All subsequent Deschutes core models used a 100 MHz FSB. Later in 1998, Pentium IIs running at 266, 300, 350, 400, and 450 MHz were also released. The Deschutes core introduced FXSAVE and FXRSTOR instructions for fast FPU context save and restore. Towards the end of its design life, Deschutes chips capable of 500 MHz within Intel cooling and design specifications were produced. However, these were not marketed. Rather than destroy already multiplier locked units, those Deschutes units that had been tested and locked with a multiplier of 5 were sold as being 333 MHz. This was accomplished by disabling the 100 MHz bus option. Overclockers, upon learning of this, purchased the units in question and ran them well over 500 MHz, most notably, when overclocking, the final batch of 333 MHz 
CPUs were capable of speeds much higher than CPUs sold at 350, 400, or 450 MHz, concurrent with the release of Deschutes cores supporting a 100 MHz front side bus was Intel's release of the 440BX Seattle chipset and its derivatives, the 440MX, 450NX, and 440ZX chipsets. Replacing the aged 66 MHz FSB, which had been on the market since 1993, the 100 MHz FSB resulted in solid performance improvements for the Pentium 2 lineup. Pentium 2 chips starting with 350 MHz were released in both SECC and SECC2 form factors. Late Pentium IIs also mark the switch to flip chip based packaging with direct heatsink contact to the die, as opposed to traditional bonding. While Claymouth features four cache chips and simulates dual porting through interleaving 2 by 64 -bit for a slight performance improvement on concurrent accesses, Deschutes only sports two cache chips and offers slightly lower L2 cache performance at the same clock speed. Furthermore, Deschutes always features ECC-enabled L2 cache. The Pentium 2 Xeon was a high-end version of Deschutes core intended for use on workstations and servers. Principally, it used a different type of slot slot 2, case, board design, and more expensive full-speed custom L2 cache, which was off-die. Versions were produced with 512 kilobytes, 1 megabyte or 2 megabytes L2 caches by varying the number of 512 kilobytes chips incorporated on the board. In Intel's family model stepping scheme, Deschutes CPUs are family 6, model 5 and have the part number 80523. Topic: Pentium 2 Overdrive. In 1998, the 0.25 micrometers Deschutes core was utilized in the creation of the Pentium 2 Overdrive processor, which was aimed at allowing corporate Pentium Pro users to upgrade their aging servers. Combining the Deschutes core in a flip chip package with a 512 kilobytes full speed L2 cache chip from the Pentium 2 Xeon into a Socket 8 compatible module resulted in a 300 or 333 MHz processor that could run on a 60 or 66 MHz front side bus. This combination brought together some of the more attractive aspects of the Pentium 2 and the Pentium 2 Xeon, MMX support, improved 16-bit performance and full-speed L2 cache, respectively. The later, Dixon, mobile Pentium 2 would emulate this combination with 256 kilobytes of full-speed cache. In Intel's, family, model, stepping. Scheme. The Pentium 2 Overdrive CPU identifies itself as Family 6, Model 3, though this is misleading, as it is not based on the Family 6, Model 3 Klamath core. As noted in the Pentium 2 processor update documentation from Intel, please note that although this processor has a CPU ID of 163XH, it uses a Pentium 2 processor CPU ID 065XH processor core. Tonga The 0.25 micrometers Tonga core was the first mobile Pentium 2 and had all of the features of the desktop models. In Intel's family, model, stepping scheme, Tonga CPUs are family 6, model 5. <laughs> Dixon Later, in 1999, the 0.25, 0.18, 400 MHz Mu M Dixon core with 256 kilobytes of on-die full-speed cache was produced for the mobile market. 
reviews showed that the Dixon core was the fastest type of Pentium II produced. In Intel's family, model, stepping scheme, Dixon CPUs are Family 6, Model 6, and their Intel product code is 80524. These identifiers are shared with the Mendocino Celeron processors. Topic: <laughs> Core specifications. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Desktop. Topic: <laughs> 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 Claymouth 80522. L1 cache, 16 plus 16 kilobytes, data plus instructions. L2 cache, 512 kilobytes, as external chips on the CPU module clocked at half the CPU frequency. Packaging, slot 1 module. MMX. Front side bus, 66 megahertz, GTL plus. V core, 2.8 volts. Process, 0. 0.35 micrometers CMOS First release, May 7, 1997 Clock rate, 233, 266, 300 MHz Topic. Core specifications L1 cache 16 plus 16 kilobytes data plus instructions L2 cache 512 kilobytes as external chips on the CPU module clocked at half the CPU frequency packaging slot 1 module MMX front side bus 66 100 megahertz GTL plus V core 2.0 volts Process, 0. 0.25 micrometers CMOS First release, January 26, 1998 Clock rate, 266–450 MHz 66 MHz FSB, 266, 300, 333 MHz 100 MHz FSB, 350, 400, 450 MHz Deschutes Pentium 2 Overdrive L1 cache, 16 plus 16 KB data plus instructions L2 cache, 512 kilobytes external chip on CPU module running at 100% of CPU speed Socket, Socket 8 Front side bus, 60 or 66 MHz, GTL plus V core, 3.1 to 3.3 volts has onboard voltage regulator Fabrication, 0.25 micrometers Based on the Deschutes generation Pentium II First release, 1998 Supports MMX technology The SSPEC number SL2KE denotes a Pentium II overdrive sold with an integrated heatsink – fan combination for socket 8 Note that the SSPEC number SL2EA denotes a Pentium 2 overdrive sold with an integrated heatsink but no fan for slot 1. Topic: Mobile. Topic: Tonga 80523. Mobile Pentium 2 L1 cache 16 plus 16 kilobytes data plus instructions L2 cache 512 kilobytes as external chips on the CPU module clocked at half the CPU frequency 
Package, MMC1, MMC2, Mini Cartridge MMX Front Side Bus, 66 MHz, GTL Plus E-Core, 1.6 V Process, 0. 25 micrometers CMOS First release, April 2, 1998 Clock rate, 233, 266, 300 MHz. Topic. Release date, 80,524. Mobile Pentium 2P. Performance enhanced. L1 cache, 16 plus 16 kilobytes, data plus instructions, L2 cache, 256 kilobytes, on die, full speed. Package, BGA1, MMC1, MMC2, MU PGA1 PPGA B615, MMX, Front side bus, 66, 100 MHz, GTL Plus, V core, 1.5, 1.55, 1.6, 2.0 volts, Process, 0 0.25, 0 0.18, 400 MHz, Micro M CMOS, First release, January 25, 1999, Clock rate, 266, 300, 333, 366, 400 MHz Containing 27.4 million transistors Die size semiconductor chip is 10.36 mm by 17.36 mm. Equals 179. 8496 square millimeters equals topic see also equals list of intel pentium 2 microprocessors intel celeron